Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn all about how to configure our routes in our application. After this tutorial, you will be able to define routes in your Angular application for components and start using as a full-fledged application. Let's get started. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I am here to, to share my knowledge with you. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, please drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to share with you all. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by subscribing and liking my videos. Thank you in advance. So I have created an Angular playlist for you, which means uh, that you don't have to worry about going here and there of the tutorials. Instead, you can just search for Angular 9 full tutorial series and you have all the 30 plus tutorials covered so far all in one playlist. Do check it out to master Angular 9. So far in the Angular routing concept tutorials, we have seen about routing introduction. We have learned about routing strategy. We have learned about base href. We have learned about router module. We have learned about router outlet. And in today's episode, we are going to learn about configuring the routes. Let's get started. So we configure our routes in app module, app routing module, which is what we have learned in the previous episodes, how to create them, how to generate it. Let's get started by writing, creating some routes and do some combinations, right? So you can, you we need, when we say we are configuring routes, we mean that we are adding them into the routes array, right? So let's get started with some hands-on example to learn it. So this is our app module, but this is our routes, which is currently empty. So we are going to start adding some. So first thing we can do is we have to specify the path, right? What path we are looking at. And then we have to mention what component it's pointing to. So let's generate some component and then we will learn. So I'm saying ng generate component products, right? This is a simple component, ng generate component products. Let's generate this. So we will do some variations in terms of how we are going to learn it. So we have the product. So here I'm going to call product component. So if you see, it is already imported. If your if your if your editor does not have the auto completion, you need to import this manually. OK, remember that. So we give the component name here, import that component and give the same component name here. In the path, we will mention products. Now here, common mistake that a lot of people do is put slash. This is a common mistake that a lot of people do. Let's not do that. It's not required. Okay. Here we are saying whenever the path is products, it should point to the component products component. Let's see the output. So let's go here and type products. So now you see it says products works, right? Because the URL is now configured to products. Similarly, let's generate one more component. And now let's call it product hyphen view. Okay. So let's kind of try and build a CRUD here, which is create, read, update, delete. So ng generate component. I am saying product hyphen edit. So these are basically components that you can have. I will show you a better way of doing it by writing single module for product and how to use it. That's maybe for the next couple of two tutorials. But for now, let's stick to routes. So here we will say product hyphen view. So whenever the route is product hyphen view, it should point to products and then product edit or product view. And similarly, whenever there is product hyphen edit, we should say product edit component, right? 
if you see here the components are auto imported in the editor if it's not there you need to import it okay so now we have three paths products product view product edit now here i will say product hyphen view so now you see it says product hyphen view works similarly if you change the url product hyphen edit works right so i'm going to jazzify little bit quickly here and what we'll do for the betterment is okay i'm going to create a simple list here so we know that we are doing the routes correctly right and then we'll throw in a link and here we will say slash products so here we have the products copy it and we will change this also in the coming tutorials because we will start using router link that's for the next tutorials for now let's stick to it and just get it done so here you will change the thing to product view here we'll make it product edit all right so we have three links now you click on product view it says product view works now you click on here it says product edit here you click you says product works right so basically we have you now i want you to notice here it will show you the url right so this is how you configure routes simple these are simple routes but it can get tricky for example let me show you now i'm going to say ng generate component and inside this i'm going to create a let's say one product name right uh, for that we'll say uh, or i will say product id okay so i'm generating a component called product hyphen id you can generate anything so here what we can say is here i'll say product slash 10 and here i will say product id component and let's import this also okay so we imported the component and we have given the product id here and we have the product slash 10 so now there is a parameter here right there's a value let's see that so here i'm going to say slash 10 so now it says product id works because of this is a static url but what happens is this value should be dynamic right because you don't want to value fixed right you don't want the va this value to be fixed it can be 10 it can be 12 it can be 1000 any number so for that we will learn in parameterizing the routes okay but for now understand that the you give the path you give the component name so that's how you configure basic routes in your application so you click on this it gives product then you click on it it gives product view it click click on it it gives the product edit view so what is pending now so let's list down some of the tasks that we need to improve this so the product uh, value should be dy dynamic right so this is what exactly we are going to learn in our um, next um, which is next um, tutorial which is redirecting and some other things like passing parameters etc we will change them so don't worry we will learn everything in detail we will modify this example for now let's list down things that we want to do so we we should be able to redirect the routes we should be able to pass dynamic value we should be able to implement wildcard route default route 404 route etc etc we'll learn all about that in the coming tutorials for today's focus that you should be learning is how to create a component how to create a basic route how to get it working if you can get to this you have got a good start my friends and this is an amazing start in the next tutorial we'll improve this example 
by creating redirecting routes. Stay tuned for that tutorial. I hope you like this. I hope you are enjoying. I hope you are learning. If you do, give a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much in advance and see you in the next episode.